Hi traders and investors, welcome to Strike. Today we are going to discuss moving averages. Now whether you are a trader or an investor, moving average is one of the most important tools in your trading arsenal and it can help you immensely whether you are looking to get a fresh entry or an exit or even just trail your profits. So we'll understand various types of moving averages, uh, how to use them, a couple of strategies and I'll try to include a bonus section as well. So what exactly is a moving average? So firstly, it is just a smoothened line which is calculated by taking out the average. In most cases, it is the average of close price, but you can obviously change the source uh, from all kinds of trading platforms today. So a very basic is simply averaging out the closing prices for last 10 days. That will give you the 10 day simple moving average. Now 10 here is the period. Now if you go to an hourly chart, it will be an average of 10 hours that is 10 candles. If you go to a weekly chart, that will be the average of 10 weeks that is 10 weekly candles. So across all time frames, you can use all sorts of moving averages. A second type of moving average is EMA that is exponential moving average. This one is considered to be slightly faster than the simple moving average as it gives higher weightage to the latest values. Depending upon your time frame, you can use any period of moving average starting from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 200. So 50, 100 and 200 are very important medium to long term moving averages for many people. But you can even use uh, Fibonacci numbers as well. It is commonly popular among traders. So using which period depends on two things. One is uh, what is your time horizon? And the second thing is how comfortable you are using that particular period. But once you get used to a certain period, that is what, what you should be following. Now let me discuss a few very basic approaches that are used while uh, trading with moving averages. I am on the chart of bank nifty and I have 10 period simple moving average on the chart. So the very, very basic uh, way to use it is wait for price to cross above or below it and then take a decision. So I'll try to highlight few scenarios here. You can see here it broke below the 10 day moving average and the trend had been down. It crossed back and, and here again it broke the 10 day average and then again the downtrend continued somewhere around 2nd of November it tried to cross above the 10 day average again and then there was an up move then it broke slightly and again it crossed above it and again the uptrend continued. So what we observe is that where <coughs> on the side which price breaks out of the moving average that is the direction of the trend that is followed for next few trading sessions. The other way that <coughs> people use moving averages by combining two period moving averages and waiting for the one to cross the other. So let me add moving another moving average here. So right now I have added 10 and 20 both moving averages and we will be watching the points where the faster moving average that is the uh, smaller period moving average crosses above or below the other one. So here is one left point where 10 day average has crossed above the 20 day average, which is a bullish signal and the trend is still continued. And opposite of that is here when the 10 day average has crossed below the 20 day average. Now the same combination can be run with various lengths of moving averages. Even the indicator MACD is based on similar logic. So there are two very important a crossovers known as golden cross and the death cross which is based on the 50 and 200 period average so when the 50 period average crosses above the 200 period average that is known as golden cross that happened here and the opposite of that is known as death cross when the 50 day average crosses below the 200 day average now it's it's a pretty slow signal but it has been a traditional sign of identifying long term trend. Moving averages are a really powerful tool when they are combined with other momentum indicators like the RSI or MACD. When you get 
combination of signals from both the indicators that is when you get a powerful signal so as you can see rsi was oversold here so one knows that now we have to look for bullish opportunities now while waiting for a bullish opportunity macd gave a bullish crossover here and finally the price also crossed above both the moving averages so that is how you can add more and more filters to your trading strategy and come up with a combination a few points to take care while using moving averages that since it is based on price average it is a slow and a lagging tool so it can only help you know the direction of the trend but it can't predict the future price movements moving averages like a dynamic support or a resistance level that is that keeps along keeps moving along with the trend and helps you trail your profits so few examples that you can see when the market is trending is from here to here the market is trending in nature and as you can see all this while the 20 day average has not broken which also helps you trail your profits to the maximum and you can keep on holding on to your position now if i go to the chart section of rmi that is in the rohit setup you can see here also the key two moving averages that are part of this setup is the 20 day simple moving average and the 40 day exponential moving average so this is a combination of uh, two averages across time frames that rohit sir has put out in this setup which uh, works beautifully you can come up with your own combination that works best for you now i'm going to show you the scanners in strike which you can use both on sma that is simple moving average or exponential moving average so you can scan on a particular day week month or hour whether the price is crossing above or crossing below a certain moving average so if let's say today i'm only looking for bearish setups and i want to know which stocks are breaking their respective 20 day average i can run this scan and see how it is looking and how the stock fits my criteria or not similarly you can do it for any other time frame be it weekly be it monthly so you know, the moment you change the filters instantly you will keep getting results and the same period of moving average will be applied to the chart on the right side similar thing can be done with exponential moving averages you can look for which stocks are crossing above or below and which stocks are at one point in time above or below the certain moving average now i'm going to share a bonus feature with you guys that will be live on strike a very soon it is known as look back when you select only the above or below options you can choose a date what this will do is it will scan each day from that particular date and see whether or not this average has been crossed or not now why it is important is it is a very important uh, relative strength tool to know which trending stocks are not breaking their key levels so here while testing i have uh, put out only the fno basket and i have selected the date as 3rd july the period here is ema 50 so what this tells me is that these five stocks have not broken below their 50 day average exponential average since 3rd of july even once so this is a sign of a strong trend that the stock is not able to break below its 50 day average now you can use any particular period average depending upon how you like to trail your profits but yeah this will help you get good strong stocks so even if you were running this scan back in September, you would have gotten the name of such stocks like in here. And again, you can see the trend has continued so well. Now you're wondering why I'm on a blank chart of Nifty 500. So I'm going to share a certain approach. So what you can see here is periods of downtrend and uptrend, right? Let me mark it properly. So this is a period of downtrend followed by a period of uptrend followed by a short downtrend and then again uptrend so what this gives us is certain dates around which we can scan for stocks right so since we can give any start date to the look back period for example 
from 12th of september the market continued to fall till 26th of october so which was a period of around one and a half month so if we check for stocks that did not break a key moving average during this period is an example of a strong stock let's try scanning for 12th september as a date in the look back period this time i'll go for a 20 day average since it is a very uh, small period that we are scanning so for 20 i'm not able to get any results so i'm scanning for a 40 period simple moving average so this the starting date is 12th of september and the last date of that trend was around 26th of october so imagine running this scan on 26th of October and getting a list like this of stocks that are not breaking their key average will give you a list of trending stocks. So you can see even beyond 26th of October, the results of this scan have continued to run up. So in hindsight, it is a very important uh, tool to scan for strength. So that, that was a quick video on learning how to use moving averages for trading. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and do let us know if you have any questions and any further topics that you would like us to cover in future videos. Thank you.